Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Udang Saradang Gacha Damang Saranang Gacha Sangam Saranang Gacha Dutiyampi Buddhang Saranang Gachami Dutiyampi Damang Saranang Gachami Tatiyampi Oh, sorry, Dutiyampi Sangam Saranam Gachami Tatiyampi Buddhang Saranam Gachami Tatiyampi Damang Saranam Gachami Tatiyampi Sangam Saranam Gachami Anati pata veramani sika padam samadiyami. Adina dana veramani sika padam samadiyami. Kame su mi chatara veramani sika padam samadiyami. Musa wada wera mani sika padam samadiyami. Sura maraya maja pamadatana wera mani sika padam samadiyami. Idam mi sila maga fala nyanasa pachayo ho tu. Sadu, 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 anumodami. May this training in peaceful conduct help to bring about the knowledge of the path and the fruits of liberation. So I've been um, attending a, uh, a course. It's an ongoing course. And that's, that's why we changed the time uh, because of this course I'm taking, uh, which take, takes place on two weekends each month, um, nine to 12, Saturday and Sunday. So I've just finished, had my lunch and rushed over here. And uh, uh, so I'm settling. Uh, it's a very wonderful course on mindfulness informed end of life care. And, um, and there's, uh, there's some just very lovely and skillful ways that the teachings are being presented uh, and one that I'd like to share with you that I think really is quite connected to the Satipatthana Sutta is um, the teaching and meditation on uh, interoception and intraception. And these are, these are words that come from the mindfulness um, kind of evolution you know, like drawing from the Buddhist teachings 
and um, and kind of reframing them uh, in a secular context and scientific psychological frame, framework and um, and and the uh, and and these words uh, come from Dan Siegel, uh, Dr. Dan Siegel, who um, uh, I, I'm only slightly familiar with his work, um, but this is part of his body of work. So interoception is this capacity that we have to be mindful of the body in the body. And so in the Satipatthana Sutta, the Buddha uses those phrase, mindful of the body in the body. And, um, and so that those words have been interpreted in different ways by different teachers. Uh, for me, it's, it's always just meant very strongly that the mindfulness is, is kind of cultivated and we're residing mindfully learning to keep our attention awareness mindfully in the body that the whole so that so that the the development is um, embodied awareness that that we are uh, we are aware um, you know and it's like we we so in in the west we are so accustomed to associating the brain and the head with uh, being aware, and so so this practice, you know, and and in the Satipatthana Sutta, um, particularly in in the in the section on <clears throat> on the uh, on the body, mindfulness of the body, and also mindfulness of feelings, that it's it's really cultivating an ongoing awareness. So it's we we can cultivate this during our formal practice, and we can also cultivate it during during the day. And so so let's remember that mindfulness is a quality of awareness which is in the present moment and it's it's non-judgmental, so it's non-preferring. That means that we're not resisting and we're not grasping, trying to hold on to and we're not ignoring or turning away from our experience. So we're present and there's an openness, the quality of mindfulness is an open and accepting and implicit in that is kind. So there's a warmth that is present in, um, in our mindfulness in the body. Uh, and so, so that's just such a, uh, a beautiful practice um, to bring that quality of attention like into this body. And, um, and so I'm going to guide us as we do this together. Uh, and, um, and I know for myself in my own practice over the years, you know, one of the things that I've discovered is uh, and keep discovering it's so it's it's not something I've uh, you know left behind, but it's, it's I'm discovering it anew and uh, in deeper ways that that th this this uh, mind this quality of attention of mindfulness uh, is not so necessarily something that I easily bring to this body. That there are um, there are attitudes. And judgments, and uh, um, and turning away at times from openness, acceptance, care, non-judgment uh, toward the body that I encounter as I bring my intention and my attention to being mindful in the body, uh, and and so. That's, uh, that's really something that's a, um, a process. It's a, it's a, it's a practice to, to be aware of that and to receive that with kindness and love and, and then bring that attention, intention, awareness 
into the body. And then the other piece that, um, uh, that was part of the, the teaching that was given today in this program. Uh, so there's interoception and there's introception. And introception is becoming aware of how we are not only, we're not these separate little silos of awareness moving around through space without influencing or affecting one another, we are, we inter are, as Thich Nhat Hanh says, you know, we, in, there, Thich Nhat Hanh coined a, a beautiful and profound word, interbeing. So, so our quality of being is that we are together, we are together emerging, we are um, uh, flowing in and out of one another as we move together, as, as we bring this quality of attention, just, just walking down the street, you know, centered, grounded, can be a blessing to the world around us. And it was one of the things that uh, helped to launch Buddha, the Buddha on his path to awakening was to see just somebody uh, in the distance, walking, collected, aware, present. And, and, he's, and that he said, that's the direction that I need to go. So, um, so uh, and so this introception is this um, becoming more and more aware of this, this field that we share. And Dan Siegel talks about moving from uh, me to we. So there's a movement, an opening that we go, you know, from me to an ongoing awareness that we are together. And, and the Buddha talks about this in the Satipatthana Sutta. He says, you know, to be mindful of the body internally and mindful of the body externally. So being aware of the presence of others and that there are others who also like us have bodies that move and, and that feel and that have aches and pains and that get hungry and that feel joy and, and pleasure. So, uh, so mindful of, uh, of the other. And then he said, and mindful of the body, both internally and externally. And so, you know, I think that in that, you know, I, as I'm mulling over these teachings on interoception and introception, Intraception, you know, I, I think that's maybe something that I can kind of uh, understand um, a way of, you know, the, 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 what the teachings are pointing to that, um, that I can feel a connection with beings who are outside my skin. Uh, you know, but are not outside the me to we, which is a larger sense of being. Um, so, so I'm going to offer a guided meditation that um, will be, uh, you know, a reinterpretation or a re-rendering of what I practiced earlier today. Um, so please, uh, take a, um, a posture that feels supportive. If you want to take a moment to just, just shift, stand up, stretch, uh, please feel free to do that. Mm. 
So perhaps as we uh, as we prepare to begin, before you know, if you if you're used to closing your eyes in meditation, you might uh, take a look at the screen if you're on screen. Take a look at the people and mm -hmm. that we're sharing the space with. Uh, just be aware of the presence of others. Grateful for this opportunity to sit with uh, our siblings in in the Dharma, siblings in becoming wise in old age, sickness and death, dying or in death, because dying is something that we're doing all our life. So being aware of the, uh, the support that you feel from the earth, feeling that pressure of the body pressing down on the earth and the earth pressing back. The earth is in relationship with us in every moment. Um, responding to our weight with an equal and opposite force. And a sense of energy in the spirit through the spine, lifting from the base of the spine through the crown of the head. Keep the shoulders relaxed. The heart relaxed, the belly relaxed. Notice how you're breathing and the quality of the breath without judgment. So it's mindfulness, just noticing with kindness, without preference. How is the breath? Does it feel um, shallow or tight or full? Is it fast or slow? So that beautiful practice of joining breath and awareness. And breathing, bringing your breath down to the tips of the toes. Breathing from the very joints, the joints where the toes connect to the feet. Just using your creative <clears throat> capacity to imagine, to feel the breath coming into the feet through those little joints in the toes. That breath, which is the life force, 
the life energy, prajna, pr prana, prajna is wisdom, prana is the life energy. However you might experience that, envision it, it might be an experience of of energy, of tingling, of a sense of luminosity, of just um, more awareness and a sense of spaciousness as you breathe into each part of the body. Feeling that breath as it flows into the whole foot the, the bones of the feet at the top and the padding, the muscle at the bottom of the foot, the ball of the foot, the arch and the heel. Allowing the breath and mindfulness to Fill that whole space. And that, that mindfulness also carries that quality of the warmth of kindness, acceptance. As, as we are in this moment, fully receiving as we are in this moment. And breathing into the joints of the ankles. And the bones of the, the shin, the, uh, between the ankle and the knee, and, the, and also the muscle of the calf. So breathing up through the toes and, and up into the whole lower leg. And feeling the aliveness of each part of the body as we bring that into our sphere of awareness. And breathing into the knees, the knee joint, such a complex, um, really marvel marvelously adapted joint in the body. Sense of appreciation for all of the work that the knees do. And breathing upward through the feet and the lower leg into the, the long bone of the thigh and the flesh that surrounds it. Feeling the whole thigh, breathing up through the feet, lower legs, and into the whole thigh, bringing that quality of awareness, 
openness, acceptance, and uh, and focusing our attention to to bring it right into the body. Feeling right into each part of the body and noticing the, the shimmering sensations. Perhaps some tingling, perhaps some soreness, tenderness. tightness, warmth, coolness, perhaps a sense of luminosity or light as we travel through each part of the body with the mind and the breath conjoined. And bringing the attention upward to the place where the thighs and the pelvis connect. The hip joints. And feeling into them as well. What are the sensations that are there? What is the quality of energy that's, that's there? How does that part of the body feel alive to you? And bringing awareness to the whole pelvis. shaped something like a bowl in which the abdomen sits, rests, is held. And the whole abdomen, the softness of it, the absence of uh, boniness in that particular place in the body. And breathing into the, the whole pelvis and abdomen, lower back, Letting the breath mingled with mindfulness, mingled with awareness. Illuminate and bring presence to, bring awareness to from the inside that experience of being in the body at the location of the abdomen and the whole lower part of the body, the legs, the thighs, the abdomen.
What do you notice as you bring attention into the whole lower part of the body? Maybe there's a place of contraction. Maybe there's some feelings or judgments. So just uh, allowing them to, if there are, just to um, be in the space. They're not an obstruction to mindfulness in the body. They can float, they can dissolve, they can move. And breathing up to the toes and feet and lower legs, and upper legs and abdomen into the whole area of the chest and back and shoulders. Feeling the, the ribs. the ribs which embrace and protect the vital organs in, the, in that part of the body. Noticing the beating of the heart, pumping the blood through the body. aware of the, <clears throat> the air coming and going through the lungs. Noticing if there's any tightness or contraction around the heart or the chest without feeling that you need to fix it. Just bringing that kind, open, aware attention. Feeling the shoulder joints, and the arms and the hands. Breathing through all of those parts of the, the upper limb, the upper extremities. the sensitivity of the fingers, the delicacy of the joints of the hands. Perhaps feeling some soreness in the, in the joints and the hands or the elbows or shoulders. I'm just letting that be into, in the openness and spaciousness of being with the whole body. And 
and bringing the breath and awareness into the area of the throat and neck, the windpipe and the sides of the neck and back and the very top of the neck where it connects to the skull. And noticing the the face, the place where four of the five senses are localized, eyes, the ears, the nose, the mouth, and touch is all over the body and within the body. And so feeling softness of the eyes and the jaw, let the jaw be relaxed. And the ears, notice how the jaw is so close to the ears. And the connection between listening and speaking. Nostrils, feeling the breath coming and going. And the skull containing the brain. We're resting in the whole body breathing. In the aliveness, <clears throat> perhaps the luminosity, the sensitivity of the whole body. Letting the body be at peace with itself. Received fully. Resting in itself, in awareness. And let the warmth of your caring, of your kindness toward that being that beingness that you are. That beautiful being aspiring to be free, aspiring to love, still in imperfection and learning from all the failures that we do. Forgiving ourselves, going on. that quality of kindness and love. Invite that to permeate, to flow through the whole body.
and comes and goes perhaps, maybe for a breath or two. There's a sense of abiding with ease, with well-being. Maybe then the thought, thoughts go catch on something, take you away, and that's okay. And then sati brings you back, you remember. Now I'd like to invite you to explore, allowing your heart, your, your heart being, your heart mind to connect with somebody that you care about, that you feel close to in this moment. and share that intention and attention for peace, well-being with that one. It could be a person, it could be an animal, it could be a tree, it could be a place. Notice how your relation to yourself changes or doesn't change, remains stable. What happens in this presence within your, yourself, your body, mind, heart, being? as you bring another being life into this sphere of awareness and connect. How is this? What's the dance? Is there, and it's not, not a right or wrong, it's not a good or bad. It's a discovery. So what do we do? Do we feel we have to disconnect from ourselves? Are we staying connected in some way? What is, how, how does it manifest for you? This reaching out or including in and bring in or connect in some way with other beings, perhaps beings in the space that you're sharing, your home, this room. How does this connection to heart being embodied shift or not.
what's in your imagination, moving out of the space that you're in and out onto the street and seeing people go by on bicycles, cars or walking, families, children, elders. and exploring that, connecting, connecting with these living beings, squirrels in the trees, loading up their nests for winter. How is it in an embodied way to connect with these beings, knowing that they too experience all the joys and all the sorrows. Being alive. all the suffering, all the freedom from suffering. Being born and dying. So as we come to the end of the practice, the formal part of the practice, let's dedicate the merit, the blessings, the goodness of our practice. Perhaps bringing to mind somebody that you would like to share these blessings with. Holding that person in heart. May the, the goodness, the blessings of our collective practice serve and support the happiness, well-being, and liberation of all beings.